think that um, black or African American athletes are scrutinized or watched more closely and or targeted more than um, than others? I won't say targeted more or scrutinized more closely. I think they're scrutinized differently. Mm. First off, we look at our major sports, the NBA and the NFL, majority sure, sure. black. So the majority of the people we're going to be talking about are African American. Mm -hmm. But I think the bias that comes out in society and media when we're talking about scrutinizing people is how many stories do we hear of black and Hispanic people overcoming tough odds, coming from tough neighborhoods um, to get to the NFL? We don't hear that about non-black and Hispanic sure. athletes. We don't hear those stories. Okay. Um, so I think when people, when, when a guy like Richard Sherman, remember mm -hmm. Aaron Andrews from Fox, Asked him a question, and he had that outburst. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, here's this big dreadlock black man mm -hmm. really coming at this blonde woman. How horrible, he's a thug. I mean, this is a menace to society. Mm -hmm. No, he's not. Mm -hmm. He had an emotional moment. Yeah, right. he was excited. And who wouldn't? Yeah. Right, who he, wouldn't? He, was, he was an emotional moment. But look at all the people, he's a thug. Mm -hmm. He's just, he was a valedictorian of his high school. Right. The guy played at Stanford. He's one of the smartest athletes I've ever covered, mm -hmm. and I've dealt with thousands of them. So again, I don't think it's more scrutiny. I think it's a biased, scrutiny when it comes to African-American athletes.